Hey guys, Ryan here with episode 14 of my KDP mini series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create print on demand coloring books to sell through Amazon KDP. By the way, real quick, for those of you that are not initiated into what KDP is, it's Amazon's self publishing platform for authors. So it was intended to let people that want to write books sell books on Amazon easily because it's they're all print on demand or ebooks. But people soon realize that they could also sell what we call low content and no content books, similar to how we sell print on demand t-shirts through Amazon merch. We can sell things like coloring books through KDP. And this video is going to show you exactly how to do that. Before I jump into exactly how to do it real quick, this video is sponsored by Webull. It is my new preferred stock trading platform and they give you two free stocks just for signing up valued up to 1400. I had a friend get a $200 Berkshire Hathaway class B stock. So it is actually legit. All right, let's jump into the demo. So what I'm going to be showing you is not a standalone tool. We're actually going to be using Microsoft PowerPoint and we're going to be using an add in for PowerPoint to convert normal images that are full color into coloring book images. And it is so much easier than you probably think it is. So by the way, I got to give credit to the author. Uh, I don't know if he wants me giving out his first name, but he publishes KDP tools under the pen name Bose Publishing. So shout out to him. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can grab his entire Bose Publishing mega pack. He publishes everything together as a single pack of KDP tools. And it's actually pretty incredible. Um, the folder I've got open right here is actually a bunch of different uh, interiors that he makes available and he's constantly updating it through um, his Gumroad link, which I'll put in the description, but tons of different interiors that you can choose from if you're a subscriber plus tools like this coloring book add in for uh, PowerPoint. So all you have to do is double click the Bose publishing PC Mac um, PowerPoint file and enable macros. And once that's loaded up, I'm going to cr open up my pre-made PowerPoint file that I appropriately named kdp.pptx. And in it, I've got five images that I want to convert to coloring book images, meaning we got to remove the color, leave the black lines, and then let the kids fill it in as they see fit. So all these images are pretty standard. And by the way, the higher the dimensions and resolution of the images, the better. So this dog is not necessarily a great pick you may not see it right now but after we convert to coloring book you're going to see why so in order to get this done guys now that we opened up powerpoint in the right order we get this add-ins tab which is not there by default it's up there near the top and after clicking it all the way to the right there's a bose publishing all pictures stencil effect i'm going to click that i'm going to hit confirm choice yes and then the second prompt says in selected slide. So do you just want to convert one slide? I'm going to go to in slides range. It automatically puts the last slide and the first slide in for me. So that's every picture. Click OK. And it says procedure complete. So as you can see here, uh, by the way, this image again, the first two dogs are not the best choice of images. You can see that the lines are a little jagged. So I should have increased the dimensions of them. Um, they were vectors prior to me saving them and then pulling them into PowerPoint. But, um, and there's a little, sometimes a little delay when you switch between slides. This one is a uh, kid holding some vegetables. Now this can be improved. This is not an uncommon thing. The, this is not a perfect science, but you can actually fix these and optimize these relatively easily. So I don't know if you remember what the original version of this graphic looked like. I actually have it right here. Um, so we can make those lines a little bit thicker and make this look better for our coloring book purpose. I'm going to right click the image in PowerPoint. I'm going to go to format picture and then the sidebar pops up. I'm going to click on the under format picture here all the way to the right, the graphic icon. And then under picture corrections where it says under brightness contrast and it says brightness, I'm going to click the down arrow. And then as you keep clicking it, don't click too much. Honestly, 1% at a time, just monitor how it changes your image until you get it how you like it. So notice it's bringing back in the thicker black lines. So for me, I think this right here looks like, um, and this ended up being 30% brightness, but don't think of that as a universal control to apply everywhere. It really is going to vary from image to image. So if I jump down to the next one, got a little delay there. Okay, same thing. Let me right click this. 
format picture, jump on over to brightness and see what happens if I reduce this some. So once the eyeballs start to pop in, the pupils, I think that it's starting to look um, pretty good. All right, that looks good to me. And then the unicorn, this one, so not all graphics are going to be optimal for creating a coloring book. Uh, let's see if we can save the unicorn. Obviously, the images that, you know, have the black lines already in them are easier for PowerPoint. Not necessarily black, but the thicker lines are easier for PowerPoint to figure out, whereas the unicorn does not have those lines. It's just solid shapes bleeding into the next. So... We're over here, click the uh, picture, go to brightness, and keep altering until we see these lines start to figure out. All right, so the unicorn, we're gonna have to chalk as a fail. Again, not a perfect science, but we went four for five, not bad. And as I mentioned before, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna try to zoom in so I can show you guys in the video, but the uh, making you know higher dimension graphics and high resolution is going to reduce the likelihood of getting these jagged edges, but it also depends on like what graphic you started with, obviously. But the reason I'm saying that is because I know this picture started as a vector, so did this one. So there's no reason for these uh, jagged lines to be there. Just be careful when you do your image selection. As you can see, the kid, uh, I sized these appropriately before importing as PNG files into PowerPoint and no issues there at all guys so that's it this is a quick video shout out to bose publishing check uh his entire bundle of interiors out real quick before i wrap it why don't we just check this so we got album reviews amateur radio um some sim some simple ones like blood pressure journals which sell well uh coin inventory log there was one i was looking at earlier what was it It was like house hunting yeah house purchasing log you guys want to see what this looks like on the inside so pretty cool. You're not going to see too many, you know, home buying journals on Amazon. So again, anything that can differentiate, differentiate yourself from the crowd and help you stand out. Remember the, the buyer journey starts with visibility. You know what I mean? Like if they search for something you're selling, but you don't get seen, you have a 0% chance of getting a sale. So if you can differentiate yourself, zig while people are zagging, um, increase the likelihood of getting visibility, which increases the likelihood of getting sales, making money. That's the purpose. All right, guys, and that is pretty much it for this video. Again, before I final wrap it, just wanted to remind you that I have a KDP course that walks you through start to finish. Like if you guys watch this video and you're like, all right, I'm intrigued. How do I get started? You keep saying KDP. What does KDP mean? Check out the link in the description to my KDP course. Just check out the landing page. There's plenty of info on there. It'll take you from not knowing anything about KDP to expert level. And I share exactly how I made $3,500 profit in my first 10 weeks on KDP. Okay, that's completely legit. You can actually backtrack through my income reports and see it as it happens. If you guys are new to my channel, by the way, check out my passive income reports. I drop them around on the first or second day of each month. I want you guys to trust me. That's why I take time to do it. They're not simple. It takes a lot of time to make them. And uh, look out for my May, uh, well, my April income report that I'm going to drop on May 1st in a couple days. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Remember, if I can do it, so can you. I'm just you from the future. I took action. I had a plan. I executed. I was unrelenting. I never gave up. That's how I got where I, where I am today. Uh, it's in the year 2020, I was able to quit my day job and, you know, start living the entrepreneur dream, the solopreneur dream that I think a lot of people that probably watch my channel um, are interested in. You can actually track my story from my first profits through my passive income reports. That's something that sets me apart. So you can get a realistic insight into the journey. But thank you guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you at the next video. Passive income school is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.